you know, I actually will be flying soon with my children for the first time in ages in a couple months. And I got to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous because we are going to be flying a Boeing aircraft. <music> Top story of the day, Delta Airlines Boeing plane loses their emergency slide mid-flight and the crew hears non-routine vibrations. I'll tell you what, you can't catch a break for, for Boeing, right? Every time they turn around, there's more problems after another. Hey, my name is Christopher Ewell, and thank you for joining us in today's Outlier Live, where we cover the biggest headlines of the day and what the AI trading data has to say about it. And if you're interested in that too, be sure to definitely hit the subscribe button down below. So let's take a look at this, right? The flight was bound for Los Angeles and forced to return to New York City when the emergency fly slide fell off, right? Um, you know, it's that slide that you see in the, in the movies where all the kids, you know, it looks like a bouncy castle slide, right? Where all the kids are um, always like, man, that'd be so cool if we got to go down the slide to get out of the plane. Yeah, it probably would be really cool, right? Uh, you roll up to the airport and rather than everybody filing out the, uh, the door and, you know, fighting over their luggage or whatnot, you just go down the slide. That'd be so much fun. But I don't think that this is the way it's supposed to be fun, right? After an emergency slide billowed off a Delta Air airline aircraft after takeoff on Friday, the LA-bound Boeing plane was forced to return to New York City's JFK International Airport. Uh, Delta Airlines and the FAA confirmed to Fox News uh, it safely returned to JFK around 8.35 a.m. Friday. Authorities said that the plane's crew alerted air traffic control after hearing a non-routine vibration from the near the right wing. The crew also observed a flight deck indication that the emergency slide had fallen off. <laughs> you know, it's it's funny to joke about, but I'm sure it was terrifying. I'm sure it was terrifying when they heard a non-routine vibration, right? You're sitting in the back, you're used to all these noises and vibrations and whatnot, and then you're just like, oh no, something's not right here <laughs> and you look out the window and you see the slide hanging down right like uh some sort of uh twisted nightmare fuel of uh you know that 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 nightmare we all have where you, you know you're falling out of the sky or falling off a building or whatever twisted nightmare fuel of uh falling out of a delta boeing plane down the slide the plane laid it landed safely and all the passengers got onto an lax bound aircraft right but it's not just that this happened it's the fact that boeing is getting screwed left right and center every time we turn around there's another problem with boeing planes and the whistleblower who brought this out he's gone that's probably the scariest part to me right they're so focused on making sure that they can continue their profits they can continue their corporate greed they can continue to put out unsafe aircraft it seems that if you go and you uh whistleblow on them it's the last thing you're ever going to do. Isn't that scary? Oh, my gosh. So, yeah, one story after another, another with Boeing. And this time, I don't know. Is it going to get even worse? Or have we finally seen the end of all these issues? Let me know in the comments what you think. Let's take a look at what the AI trading data has to say on Boeing. Boeing is honestly one of my very favorite to point out just how well this trading data works because we showed a buy signal right before the giant run up right right before this run up right here and then a sell signal days before days before the doors blew out on the alaska airlines flight and it fell like 25 percent after that point now we do have a buy signal on boeing as of april 1st so we'll see how that materializes but i'll tell you one thing outlier is showing a positive return at 14 percent while buy and hold is down 50 percent right that's the power of outlier right sometimes these aren't the greatest biggest winners ever but they outperform buy and hold by ridiculous amounts and this is a great example like this one here 14 percent positive return while buy and hold is down 50 percent you know like i say it, it's one of my very favorite examples ever to look at inside of outlier because it was so crazy to see the buy signal right before the huge run and to see the sell signal literally two or three days before the, uh, the jet planes uh, doors blew off the plane. Absolutely ridiculous. So listen, I want to share with you the secret investing book where I talk more about how to trade using Outlier. It's 13 of the best secrets that I've ever found uh, with over a year, or I'm sorry, with over 10 years of trading inside of Wall Street. So be sure you head over to secretinvestingbook.com. Get a free copy of this 160 page book. Absolutely free. Let's go see what the internet has to say about this, right? Uh, Delta Airlines, Boeing 767 
safely returned to land at JFK International Airport following an in-flight deployment of the right wing emergency uh, right overwing emergency slide nobody was hurt well that's good i'm really glad to hear that nobody was hurt uh but yeah that's so crazy right let's see if we can get a bigger picture i guess that's where the slide comes out but uh it's not there anymore i wish that we had a picture of what the slide looked like coming out i'm sure somebody on the plane was snapping photos and they're very very uh worth a lot of money to a journalist right now i'll tell you that Uh, All the overact because Boeing is in the news. Never mind that this airplane has been flying for 20 plus years. Boeing's in the news because these airlines have been flying for 20 airplanes been flying for 20 plus years and they seem to all be breaking at once. Yes. And the heat hits keep coming for Boeing for freak's sake. This person says surprised again. Let's see what else. Didn't they have a similar incident a year ago? Ah, They must have in June 2023. Emergency slide at the back of this aircraft was accidentally deployed. Hitting a flight attendant. And she was taken to the hospital. Whoa. Oh, I had no idea that was happening. I'll tell you what. it The the hits just keep on coming for Boeing. Um, and, you know, I actually will be flying soon with my children for the first time in ages uh, in a couple of months. And I got to tell you, I'm a little bit nervous because we are going to be flying a Boeing aircraft. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's Outlier Live. We will see you on the next episode.